Hey guys, welcome back again to another video. So, so I was going to be cover the mod that you're currently seeing on the screen, but something just came up where I kind of had to talk about it because, like, ooh, this is big in terms of, like, you know, the whole industry insider bullshit, you know, that you see nowadays, like, where everyone's trying to be an insider or whatnot. Well, there's a YouTuber out there who recently just exposed himself as an insider called The Real Insider. This was basically what it was, it was a Twitter account that was basically kind of, essentially he was trying to break NDA by doing it under an alt, alternative account, you know, called The Real Insider, like I just mentioned. For, to give some examples, like he recently was talking about like Silent, the Silent Hill rumor that's been going on seemingly for ages now. And do you, and with that, um, Assassin's Creed event that just happened, like, what was it, last week? Where, where Ubisoft revealed a whole bunch of Assassin's Creed titles. Like, there's one, uh, Assassin's Creed Infinity, which is essentially, I guess, Ubisoft's live service. Assassin's Creed, or essentially, it's essentially gonna be a giant hub for various feature Assassin's Creed titles, like, um, like Red, which is, in, you know, in Japan, which is something that fans have been asking for for a very long time. There was some, there were some other ones too, like Mirage. That's 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 separate from Infinity, by the way. I believe they said there was like more. Apparently, there was like some kind of VR Assassin's Creed game. But anyway, so basically, what I'll, basically what I'm getting at is like where this guy essentially leaked all, all of it, pretty much. And so he, so he exposed himself right here. Uh, I'm gonna read you this article from Inside Gaming. Then we'll actually look at, you know. Dan's essentially post kind of saying blah blah blah, you know, so anyway, let's get into it. So gaming YouTuber Dan Allen Gaming is allegedly the person behind the increasingly popular at the real insider on Twitter. In a bizarre twist, it appears that Dan forgot to change his Twitter profile when replying to someone that was asking a question to the real insider on Twitter, as you can see here. No, someone else. Now then we'll read the rest of the article. It's alleged that Dan uh, Inside Gaming it is the real insider after its account was deleted almost immediately after the screenshot was posted. In addition, his own Twitter account has also been freaking deleted. The news might not be substantial to some, but the apparent mistake from Dan has meant that he's very likely been caught breaking NDA information that has been signed. Like I said, like I mentioned earlier, the real insider became increasingly popular following the leaks that revealed all these Assassin's Creed titles that would be released revealed by Ubisoft slash released. It's unclear what exactly, but Insider Game has requested comment from Dan following termination of both Twitter accounts. Dan did not respond before the publication of this article. Now let's go to Twitter where Dan se seemingly reactivated his uh, Dan gaming account and kind of essentially explained himself. Here we go. I'm sorry to everyone for my actions. I'm ashamed and disappointed in myself. I'll be taking some time to reflect on my poor decisions, which will never happen again. To everyone that has supported me over the years, I'm truly sorry that I let you down. Uh, no offense, dude, but you're not, you're not sorry. I, I see right through it. The only reason you're quote-unquote apologizing is because you got caught. Because I guarantee you, if you did not, you know, f fuck up in a major way like this, I, I guarantee you would still be breaking NDA, so, cause, this insider account, he's actually been going at it for a while, it seems like. Like, like, cause Assassin's Creed wasn't the only thing he was kind of talked about, essentially, cause he was also saying, you know, again, the Silent Hill stuff, he, he was essentially claiming that he actually saw shit from this Silent Hill thing with his own damn eyes. So, like other people on Twitter have said, you know, um, a perfect analogy, essentially, um, a game developer by MVG, you know, who also has a YouTube channel, you should check him out. Like, he does great work, so... Uh, he said the same thing that I said, so, which was, you're only, so you're only apologizing because you got freaking caught. So, like, you're not sorry. You're really not. You're only apologizing because you got caught. Like, do you have any idea of how much people... Like, this is about, like, trust and all that, because NDAs are, like, very, really, like, very handed. I mean, look at... I mean, the industry is so freaking secretive when it comes to this stuff, so, you know. So, and you know what's funny about all this? Talk about the terrible timing for Dan to expose himself, because this comes around the same time that the infamous GTA 6 leak. I might, I might cover that one, because th that story is so insane, but, like, yeah. 
but no, I probably won't because I don't really care much about GTA, so I probably won't. But still, it's pretty insane, like what happened with that. Anyway, like like I just said, like what a terrible freaking timing for Dan to be doing this. Like, wow, gee, you know. It, here's the thing, so he likely broke a whole bunch of India agreements. Uh, dude, you better l fucking lawyer up, because I would not be shocked if Ubisoft and, Kon and Konami come out of come after you. Especially Ubisoft, because you leaked so much with them, especially. Similarly with Konami, it's only the Silent Hill stuff, because, like, that's been a... R but then again, that's been rumored for, like, how many years now? So, but again, who, who really knows at that point, but... At, at the end of the day, dude, like, oh uh, yeah, you are fucked. And I say it's rightfully deserved because you got caught breaking NDAs, so. Breaking non disclosure agreements. I know people like to bring, I saw people bring it up, you know, saying so, so that any, any insider should be treated like this. But here's the thing, they didn't sign non disclosure agreements while this guy seemingly has. That's kind of the big difference. But and here's the thing about insiders, really. So, because the industry being so secretive, you know, kind of, insiders can be a good thing, but, but at the same time, can we really trust them? Like, what uh, alternative, what motive do they have? Like, do they really, you know, what kind of expose the behind the curtains of the industry, or are they doing it for clout? And in Dan's case, it's, he was definitely doing it for clout, so, but yeah, like, you're, you're not sorry, dude. You really are, man. And you are rightfully getting roasted for it because it's well deserved. Because you know, just think about it from a developer's pers developer's perspective. So you know they, like they've been waiting so long to kind of reveal the project, for, reveal these projects for themselves. But at the same time, with the way the industry is, with it so secretive, sometimes it can be both good and bad. But but obviously, you know, it's, it's just you know being leaked can make people more excited for a game, but if it's like a bad leak, then, I mean, look at The Last of Us 2, because leaks, those leaks infamously, you know, divide the community on that game, and, and look at the recent GTA 6 name, because I see, I saw people saying that, oh, it looks bad, like, and I'm like, no shit, it looks bad, it's literally pre-freaking alpha for a game that is, like, still a couple years out, so... But at the end of the day, leaks can be a good and a bad thing, and in this case, it's definitely a bad thing because, especially in this case, because, like, because he signed an NDA, like I just said, so that's why it's kind of like really terrible. You know how it's just such a shitty situation, and dude, you, you are no matter how many times you apologize, you are fucked. And I do not blame uh, any developer after this for for not trusting you at all. Because, because, like, what if you do this, do this again? For what? Pointless Twitter clout? And that, that got you nowhere. So, <laughs> but yeah, you are fucked. So if I were you, I'd lawyer up real fast. Especially if Ubisoft and Konami come after you, because it would be well-deserved if they did. To be honest with you, so. But, anyway, so, this, I just want to talk about this, because it's kind of pretty hilarious that and as someone who's kind of covered rumors and things like like that in the past so so I mean you know it, it's it's pretty hilarious it's kind of like why you know for any rumor slash I guess uh, my final message before I end this video is like anytime you see a leak or a rumor take it with a grain of salt no matter how credible the person who's saying it actually is like you know like the song Frontier shit song Frontier shit you know Remember, like, I remember doing a video, like, last year? Like, that was, like, a 4chan leak I did, I covered, and the only reason I did that, because it seemed legitimate, and it turns out, a lot of it was correct. <laughs> that's the only reason why I did, so. But, anyway, that's all I gotta really say on the on this topic. Yeah, d yeah, don't blindly trust rumors, and, and yeah, if you're gonna sign an NDA agreement, actually, you know, stick to it, and, and not open your fucking mouth. Like, because... Because you never know, and don't do it for freaking Twitter clout. Because like Twitter is a cancer of a website, so. But it's a necessary evil, I guess. But you know, because I made friends on there, so uh, you know. But anyway, that's all I gotta really say on this. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section below. And if you like this video, hit the like button on the way out, and consider subscribing to the channel so you do not miss any more videos. And I will see you on the next one. Have a good one.